This web tutorial will show you how to embed Mixcloud and Bandcamp players onto your blog post. First, we'll take a look at embedding media from Mixcloud. I like to create the new space for my player beforehand. Click Source to begin coding. I can see that the code for the space has been created. I will put the code between the pointer brackets and P and the backslash P with the pointer brackets where it reads NBSP semicolon, or as I like to call it, nothing but space. I'm going to go to the Mixcloud channel that I have open to find a track from CHRW Radio. By clicking on the track title, I will be taken to a new page where I can find the embed code separate from the playlist. Look to the right of the track and click the button with pointed brackets. This typically represents embedding. A new window will pop up with the widget generator for the track selected. You can change the color of the button and text and the shading behind the text by moving the cursors on this color wheel. Depending on what color you choose, the color of the text will change for visibility. Make sure to click update so that you can see the change as well as update the code with that change. Return to your blog post to paste the code. Click Source to see your creation as an iframe. Set up your code by making a space. Click Source, get rid of the nothing but space, and return to Mixcloud to retrieve a playlist. Click back to return to the original playlist on the CHRW radio channel. Click embed and a similar window will appear. You can see that this window has more tracks that you can access with these dots or by using the cursors. In addition to color, you can also change the size of your media player by inputting new fields. Keep in mind that the size of a blog post is 640 pixels, so you don't want to go over 640. Remember to update the code so you can see that the size has changed. Copy the code and paste it into your blog post. Click Source to see the result. As you can see, the code provided has created an iframe with different dimensions than the track. Now we'll take a look at using media from a similar site called Bandcamp. Click Source and find your place. Here I have opened an album called Not That London. To find the code of a single track, you must click the song title. The page will refresh and allow me to access the track code. Click share slash embed and a new window will pop up. Click embed this track. Select whatever style will look best. You can change the color slightly to your preference. You can also choose to show the album art, and the code will automatically change. Copy that code and return to your blog post. Find your spot and paste the code. Unlike Mixcloud, Bandcamp will not produce an iframe true to its size. Keep this in mind when editing. Next, we'll look at embedding a whole album. Click Source and find your spot. A 
exit the pop-up and click the album title here to return to the album page. Click share slash embed to access the code. Select a style to your liking. You can choose which layout you like. Standard includes the track titles in a box, whereas minimal will remove those titles. You can also choose to show toolbar, which will show all of the tracks at once, not just the current track of the player. You can, you can manually change the size of the frame and album by playing with the dimensions. I made mine really small, so you can see that it will cut down the song titles. Change the colors if you want and copy the code. Click preview and select the blog title to see how it turns out. You can see that the Mixcloud album I made with the dimensions 640 aligns with the banner. Make sure that if you're going to make it a full size 640 pixels that it is not touching the Ustream or other windows by making it low enough to avoid the confrontation. This web training video was brought to you by CHRW 94.9 FM.